folks, it's finally drying up a little bit around here, and we are fixing to take these cabbage and plant them in the ground. I am so excited. We've got uh, some of the tomatoes out here, not all of them. Some of them are still in the house under the lights, but we're fixing to bring them all out soon. And then all this cabbage that needs planting. Some of it is broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, they're a little smaller. Um, now that's red cabbage. Let's see, there's a cauliflower. Uh, but a lot of this big, big, big stuff is cabbage. And we have got to get that out in the ground. So that's what we are fixing to tackle right now. All right, this wagon is loaded up and ready to go. I did leave a few in there that I will let get a little bigger and then put in my herb garden. Uh, a few of the broccoli and cauliflower um, and cabbage. Just kind of one of each. And then my tomatoes I'm not taking out yet. And then I have all these big pots of the other stuff that will go out in my herb garden. And then the nasturtiums, they are doing awesome. They'll go out in the herb garden. And um, so, there you go. And then I've got moss. This is the little um, rose moss. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the little rose moss that um, Buddy at Gemini Homestead's uh, uh, mom gave me. And uh, I've got some of the hibiscus and uh, things that she gave me um, in the house under the lights. I brought the moss out because it was doing really good and it don't really have to be started inside. So we are um, going to plant this stuff, this early stuff up here where we tore the barn down. This is going to be our new um, garden, our third garden. We have the big garden, and then we have the uh, herb garden that has uh, mostly herbs, some other stuff that I planted in it last year. I done some tomatoes in it and different things, but mostly herbs. This spot is where he, uh, this spot is where Lee tore down a barn recently, and it has some really good dark soil that looks amazing so we are going to plant this early stuff here in this garden um. all right we are working on the row of cauliflower no it's collie collie <laughs> i wrote on the cups collie collie that's our collie I've got a few more at the house I didn't think was big enough, but he That's wants to go ahead and plant lassie. them. So we are going to go ahead and get the rest of them and plant them even though they're not nearly as big as these. But he wants to get them all in the ground now. Okay, now we got broccoli going in. Some of that broccoli got a little spindly, but we're getting that in. So it should be good. A few of them down on the end are a little small they were a little smaller but we're getting them planted anyway and we got help there's our little helper she has burnt her foot on uh getting too close to mom cooking and got hot water splashed on her foot lift up your foot and there's her hurt foot she had to go to the emergency room and get to uh, um cream and bandage put on there so she's being pulled in the wagon today and there's the rest of the plants we got to get done all that over there's cabbage okay this row is red cabbage and um, of course I've ended up with a couple of cups that didn't get marked so we've got a couple of things we're not sure what they are I think they're no, cauliflower <laughs> I think they're cauliflower, but we don't know for sure, so. Okay, there's the brassica garden, all done. We have cauliflower, broccoli, red cabbage, and green cabbage. 
and that is done and that is in the spot where the old barn was so we're really hoping that rich looking dirt will be great and uh, hopefully we got it in early enough before it gets hot because we uh, tend to uh, in years past uh, have gotten our um, cabbage and brassicas in too late and gets hot quick here um, as soon as spring is over with next thing you know it's hot and then um, then they would just bolt so we're hoping we've got them in early enough that uh, that won't happen that it'll be cooler weather and uh, not turn hot too fast on them so this is the earliest we have ever gotten them in so that was uh, good um, and uh, after we uh, get the brassicas done in this bed we are going to do watermelons and melons and um, and then pumpkins here in this spot so that's our plan for this third garden on the barn had uh, cows in it before and horses in it before and uh, it has some nice looking soil here it's a little wet but uh, it's been real muddy here this finally dried out enough to get this in so there you go that's what we got going on thanks for watching uh, let us know what you're planting have you got your uh, brassicas in yet and um, uh, let us know what's going on in your area with your gardens.